Hi guys, Dr. Sammy here. Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. We appreciate all your all support. So today we're going to answer one of our social media questions, which is how to remove a tick properly from your pet dog or cat. This applies. And you can actually try it with poultry and stuff. There are poultry ticks that are getting a little more common, but that's a little bit of a different beast. So avian poultry, some of those exotics, that's a little bit of a different world. But, but for our cats and dogs, the most important thing for you guys to remember when removing a tick is get the tick head itself. Um, a lot of people will go get the ticks, they'll freak out, they panic, run and scream, ah, do all that fun stuff, and we watch and laugh, hee hee hee. But you wanna make sure you get the whole tick head. They'll get nervous and they'll just pull the body or the back end of the tick because they're scared to touch it. Tear the tick in half, it'll bleed a little, be a little messy, not terrible, but a little bit. And leave the tick head behind. That is the worst possible thing you can do. You want to get the entire tick head. So when you're gonna do that at home, grab your tweezers, small needle nose pliers, something small, get them at the actual head. When you leave the head behind, they get a pretty severe reaction and causes a lot more issues. So hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Tis the season and y'all be safe.